Hey guys, we are Mark and Jennifer with Sailing Lunacy. RV edition. Cha -cha -cha. <laughs> What's happening today? Uh, carpet removal. How's it going? Lovely. Uh, 20 year old industrial carpet glue, still sticky and nasty after 20 freaking years. It doesn't let, let go. I still don't know why you wanted to remove the carpet. Well, because it's, it's so lovely. It's pretty sweet. Check that out. Ooh. I see no problems. All right, now we're deciding between uh, vinyl planks and leftover hardwood. Pretty sure leftover hardwood is the winner. Um, A, free, because we already have it. And B saves us a fortune on all the little connector trim pieces that would we would have to purchase for the vinyl um, because we'll just use the hardwood. If you're going to interview me, you have to ask me questions. <laughs> hey, Mark, what are you doing? Why do we end up with hardwood instead of waterproof vinyl planks? Because it was already paid for. And lighter weight. How weird is that? Yeah, it'll actually save about uh, 20 pounds over the whole RV. Even by, well, you had to add the subfloor anyway. But yeah, 20 pounds lighter. Plus it's beautiful. And it's a contrast to all of this gray. We have so much gray. Everything's gray. What have you been doing today? Flooring. And for like three days. All right, here's the first sections of the hardwood floor. How awesome is that? Nice job, Mark. So we'll have drawers here and drawers here very soon. We still have to do this section and back there. All right, Mark has already removed the seats that went behind the driver and passenger seat. These are kind of cool, but they take up so much space. Instead of those giant seats that were mounted here with these bolts underneath that dresser thingy, we now have a couple of hardwood Ikea dressers and today it is time to make them pretty. I'm gonna stain them all gray and then if for some reason we don't like that I can always paint them. Let's see what happens. Drilling underneath the RV. Drilling the uh, holes for the dressers using the old mounts for where the seats used to attach. Sweet. All right, here are the new dressers. Not fully installed yet. One there. And one there. This is where those big giant seats used to be, and now it will be six full drawers of storage plus some extra room right here which I promise you will be yoga space. Mark's currently drilling under here through um, an existing hole where the seats were mounted but he's got to come up through the wood floor so that we can anchor this. It's going to be anchored aft and then also how rude of him drilling while I'm talking. We'll also have it mounted forward as well so that they don't slide either direction. In, in board, outboard, forward, or aft, they'll be pretty stable. Okay, let's check out the floor. Hardwood floors are installed. 
dressers installed. Plenty of storage. This one even has a space behind it and beside it. And then floors all the way to the back. Thanks for watching, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.